three-digit subtraction with regrouping. We need to regroup. Hello, I'm Mrs. Schneider, and today we are learning how to subtract three-digit numbers with regrouping. Remember that regrouping means we are going to need to make a new group. Today we are going to see some problems where we don't have enough ones or tens, so we are going to have to borrow from the tens and hundreds place and regroup them into the tens or ones place. Let's activate our prior knowledge. Let's first review a two-digit subtraction with regrouping problem so we can refresh our memory and build on that knowledge. Mrs. Schneider had 64 cookies. See, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. She gave 29 cookies to her friends. So we're gonna take away 29. How many cookies does Mrs. Schneider have left? Well, that's the problem we're solving. To solve this problem, we're going to start, start, start on the right in the ones place. We have four cookies and we need to take away nine. See, here's our nine friends down here that want a cookie. Do we have enough? No. Where can we get more ones? That's right, we can borrow a 10. We can regroup a 10's rod into 10 ones so we have enough cookie for our friends. Now we're gonna cross out the six because we don't have six 10's anymore. Since we regrouped one of the 10's into the ones place, now we only have five tens in the tens place. So we're gonna change the six to five because that's how many tens we have left. Now we're going to cross out the four. Since we borrowed a 10, we don't have four ones anymore. Now we have 10 plus four, which is 14. So we're gonna change this four to 14. See, we have a five in our tens place and 14 in our ones place. Now we have enough for our nine friends. We're gonna subtract nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many ones are left? Five, 14 minus nine equals five. Now we subtract the tens. We have five boxes of 10 and we need to give two away. One, two. How many tens are left? Three, five minus two equals three. So our answer to our problem was 35. Mrs. Schneider still had 35 cookies left. Now let's try a three digit subtraction with regrouping problem. Mrs. Schneider had 725 cookies. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, 700, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 725. She gave away 258 cookies. So we're gonna subtract 258 cookies. How many cookies does Mrs. Schneider have left? To solve this problem, we're going to start, start, start on the right in the ones place. All right, and if we have five cookies, can we give eight away? No, we need to regroup. All right, now that we regrouped that 110, we need to cross out the two in the tens place because we don't have two tens in the tens place anymore. How many tens do we have there? Right, one. So we're gonna cross out the two and change it to a one. Now we're gonna cross out the five ones because we don't have five ones anymore. Now we have 
10 plus 5, which is 15. Now we can take 8 away, right? Now we have enough 1s that we can give 8 away. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How many 1s are left? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ones are left. Fifteen minus eight equals seven. All right. Now we're going to subtract the tens. So we have one ten and we need to take away five. Uh-oh. We don't have enough tens to give away. What do we do? We need to regroup. That's right, so we're gonna regroup one of these hundreds over to the tens. All right, let's break that hundred up. Boom, boom. All right, so you, if you remember, a 100 is made up of 10 tens, right? So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we need to cross out the 700s because we don't have 700s anymore. Now we only have 600s. So we're gonna change that seven to a six. And we're gonna cross out the 110 because we don't have 110 anymore. We borrowed 100 and broke it up into 10 tenths. So we have 10 plus one, which is 11. So we're gonna change the one to 11. All right, now we can subtract. Now we have enough to take away five tenths. One, two, three, four, five. How many tens are left? Six, see, one, two, three, four, five, six. 11 minus five is six. All right, last we subtract the hundreds place. So here we have six hundreds and we need to take away two. One, two. All right, how many hundreds are left? Four, six minus two is four. So the answer to this problem is 467. See, we started with 725 and we took away 1, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. And so after we took that away, we still had 467 cookies remaining. That was a lot of work. Let's see it one more time. Mrs. Schneider had 351 cookies. See, one, two, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 51. 351 cookies. She gave away 199 cookies. So we're gonna subtract 199. How many cookies did Mrs. Schneider have left? All right, we're gonna start, start, start on the right in the ones place. We have one cookie and we need to take nine away. Uh-oh, we only have one, we can't give nine away. What do we do? We need to regroup. All right, so we took a 10 from the tens place and regrouped it into the ones. So now we're going to cross out the five tens because we don't have five tens anymore. Now we have four tens. So we're gonna change the five to four. And we're gonna cross out the one in the ones place because we don't have one one anymore. Now we have 10 plus one, which is 11. All right, now we can subtract nine, right? 11 is more than nine, so now we have enough to give away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. How many ones are left? Two. Eleven minus nine is two. All right. Now we subtract the tens. 
Here you see we have four tens and we need to take away nine. We only have four tens, we can't take away nine. What do we do? We need to regroup. I'm gonna take 100 over to the tens place. Regrouping 100 to the tens place. And we gotta break it up again. Boom, boom. All right. Now we need to cross out the 300s because we don't have 300s anymore. We took one of those hundreds over to the tens place. So now we only have two hundreds. So we're gonna change that three to two. And we're gonna cross out the four in the tens place because we don't have four tens anymore. Right, we took a hundred over to the tens place and we know that a hundred is made up of 10 tens. So 10 plus four is 14. So we're gonna change that four to 14. All right, now we can subtract the tens. 14 minus nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, how many tens are left? Five. 14 minus nine is five. All right, last we're gonna subtract the hundreds. We have two hundreds and we need to take one away. All right, how many hundreds are left? Well, there's one, one left because two minus one is one. The answer to that problem was 152. Mrs. Schneider had 152 cookies left. Goodness, does your brain feel like it's going to explode? Oh, ah, I can't even. You guys, you can do it. I know it is a lot. It is a lot of steps, but I believe in you. You got this. I believe in you. You can do it. Okay, let's just keep in mind if there's more on top, no need to stop, don't regroup, okay? If there's more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. You're gonna regroup, okay? So let's look at these different examples. So example number one, this problem does not require regrouping. If there's more on the top, no need to stop. So in each column, there's enough cookies on the top that you can just give away however many are needed on the bottom. So see, eight is more than five. So if you have eight cookies, you can give five away and you'll still have three left over. And then you move over to the tens place. If you have three cookies, you can give two away and you'll still have one left over. And in the hundreds place, if you have 400 cookies and you give 200 away, you'll still have 200 cookies. Okay, so this one, you did not need to borrow anything. You did not need to regroup any hundreds to the tens because there was more on the top. Here's example number two, regrouping tens to ones. Okay, on this problem, we had to regroup a 10 to the ones place because we didn't have any ones and we had to subtract five. Okay, so let's look at this problem. So here we had 460 cookies and we had to give away 125 and we know we always start 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 on the right in the ones place okay if we have zero cookies we can't give five away so we went next door and got 10 more okay so we crossed out this six and changed it to a five and we brought that tens rod over to the ones place okay so then we changed the zero to a 10 because now we had 10 cookies okay and then 10 minus five is five then when we went over here the tens place, they had five, cook five tens left and they had to give away two tens. So they still had three tens left over. So they had enough to give away. They didn't have to go to the hundreds place, okay? All right, let's look at example number three. Sometimes you're gonna have enough cookies in the ones place that you don't need to borrow, but you'll need to borrow once you get to the tens, you'll need to borrow from the hundreds. Let's look at it in, in detail. Okay, here we start, start, start on the right in the ones place. 
Okay, if you have seven cookies, you can give four away and you still have three left over. Then you go to the tens place, okay? Here they had four cookies. They couldn't give nine away. So they went next door and got 10 more. So they crossed out the three, they changed it to a two, and then they brought that hundreds over, bam, 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 broke it up into 10 tens plus the four tens, which was 14 tens. Now they could take away nine tens. So 14 minus nine is five. And then over here, they still had two hundreds left minus 100 equaled 100. All right, let's look at an example four. This one is a lot of steps I know, okay? This one, they had to regroup the tens to the ones and the hundreds to the tens. They had to regroup in both places, okay? So here was, the problem was 642 minus 175, okay? If you have two ones, you cannot give five away. So they went next door to get 10 more. They crossed out the four, changed it to a three, and brought over the 10 to the, to the ones place. 10 plus two is 12. So they changed that to 12. And then they gave five ones away. So they had seven left over. Okay, then when they went over to subtract the tens place, now they only had three tens, but they had to give away seven tens, so they didn't have enough. So they had to go next door and get 10 more. So they crossed out the six, changed it to a five, brought a hundreds over, bam, 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 broke up the hundred into 10 tens. Okay, 10 tens plus three tens is 13 tens. Now they had enough tens to subtract. 13 tens minus seven tens is six tens. All right, and then you go to the hundreds place, five hundreds minus 100 equals 400, okay? All right, I know it's a lot, guys, but it's your first time learning this, so it's going to be hard and it's okay, and we're gonna have lots of practice. So this week, you're going to have five decks to practice, each deck only has 10 cards, so just go slowly, take your time, and practice, okay? On the first deck, you'll be subtracting and regrouping from the hundreds to the tens and the ones, so you'll be subtracting in both places, and then it will get mixed up as you go through the week, okay? You guys are gonna do great. Good luck, have fun.